I have a bit of a confession to make. As much as I love the Legend of Zelda series with its heart-based health system, and I really do love these games, I'll never forget when I first encountered a health point-based system. Games like Final Fantasy Adventure, Willow, felt more precise, more mature, less like I was playing a video game and more like I was managing resources on a real adventure. Now, don't get me wrong, if a heart-based system is more your style, I've got a whole series on this that you should definitely check out. But in this video, I'll be looking at how to use a numerical HP system. So strap on your sword, grab your potion of choice, and let's get down to business. Alright, so we've managed to create a game now where you can move around the world and explore a little bit. We've got a player character and a camera that follows. But this world needs to have some danger if it's going to be any fun at all. And in order to have danger, every RPG needs to have a health point system. So let's get started. So the first step in creating our health point system is going to be to create a bit of a user interface. So I'm going to head over to my hierarchy here. I'm going to right click, go down to UI, and we're going to add text, text mesh pro. Now you'll probably get a pop up here asking if you would like to import the essentials and you absolutely will want to have that. Otherwise you won't have any fonts to use and that sort of thing. The examples and extras is purely optional and for now I'm just going to leave them. All right, you'll notice once you create this that a canvas pops up as well as a text, text mesh pro and you have this new um, corner of a box that appears in your screen. That is the canvas itself and if you zoom out you'll see that you have a very giant box here. Now this box is your canvas on which you can actually create all of the overlay you want in your game. I'm actually going to grab the game tab here and move it beside my scene view. And what this enables us to do is to actually see how the canvas interacts with the screen. You'll notice if I move my text here around inside the canvas box, it will also move around in my game view. Now this is going to be where we keep track of our health points. And for now, if you head to your inspector, you can actually just directly input some text. I'm simply going to put HP for health points and I'll just put in like a sample so I can see how it fits on the screen. I'm going to go with 120 out of 120 to start. Now a couple of little tips right off the bat. First off, we want to make sure that no matter what size of screen we're working with, our health points stay the same size and appear in the same place on the screen. To do that, we're going to need to click on our canvas over in the hierarchy. And what we want to do is scroll down into our scaler and make sure that the UI scale mode is set to scale with screen size. Now that will immediately create some feedback. You'll notice your size and position changes a little bit and you'll need to just adjust that. I'm now going to move my text back up into the corner here. And I'm also going to go into my scene view and just make my box a little larger so that it can actually fit all of my text. Now you've got other options here. If you head into your inspector, you can scroll down and you can do things like adjust your font size. If you'd like to make it bold, you can do that. Um, you can also play with alignment and other things like that, like changing color and all of those sorts of things. For now though, I'm just gonna leave this as is. You can also make this a little bit prettier. All right, now if you click on your canvas, you can go down to UI and we can add an image here. This will start off as a simple square but it can be easily resized. Um, you can also recolor it by going over into your inspector. Say I want to make mine have a blue background. I can now move this image in behind my HP. Now you'll notice of course right off the bat that it's not going behind. It's actually creating it in front, which is not what you want, but that's actually pretty easy to fix simply on your canvas. Move image up above text and now the text will appear on top. I'm also going to rename these so instead of calling this one image I'm going to call this HP box and I'm also going to rename my text to be HP text. Now obviously there's lots of room here to add other things like the name of a character that sort of thing which could be done really easily by simply adding another UI text mesh pro and perhaps this one is player name. And maybe this one is going to be in italics or something like that. All right, at this point you can do a little bit of resizing with your box. Make it so that it fits nicely. And just like that we've got a 
health points and player name box added into our game. Now we just need to set it up so that this is actually um, being edited in real time as the player takes damage and that sort of thing. So to do that, we're going to need to create a script. I'm going to go create C sharp script. And this one is going to be my player health script. Now starting off with this script, we're going to need to add a new using line up at the top here. Using lines simply um, allow our script to access different libraries within Unity. And in this case, we're going to be using TM Pro because we're using Text Mesh Pro in order to change the numbers in our health. We're going to need to declare a couple of variables for this script. The first one is going to be a public integer, which we'll call health. And this will keep track of our current health at any given time. Another public integer, which will be our max health so that we can't get more health than whatever we decide our max is. And finally, we need to make a reference to the text in our game so that it knows where to actually make these numbers appear. All right, now as soon as the game starts, I want my player to begin with full health. So I'm gonna make sure that his health is set so that it is equal to his max health. That way, if I set my max health at 10, my player will start the game with 10 health. I wanna make sure that health points, remember this is a reference to the actual text in our game. And it's not just the health point itself, but the health point text is going to be equal to. Now here, I'm going to use the words HP in my game because I want that to show up. A semicolon and then or a colon. And then I'm going to add a space because I don't want the numbers to come immediately after that. We then hit a plus because we want to include other information. Now after writing HP, I want to show how much health I currently have. So I'm going to type in my variable health plus now in mine, I want to have a slash between my current health and my max health. So I'm actually just gonna put that in quotation marks. Then I'm gonna add my max health uh, variable and semicolon that up. All right, that should do it. Let's head back into Unity. All right, now once we're back in Unity, we're gonna click on our player in the hierarchy because our player is the one who's going to be holding this script. We can then go into our inspector, click add component, and go down to player health. All right, just a couple of things left to do, and then we'll be ready to test this out. First of all, it wants to know which text is going to be showing our health points. So I'm gonna head on over here into my hierarchy, look under my canvas and grab my health points text. All right, I'm gonna make my game screen go back here. All right, now one little problem that occurred for me when I moved my game view back up here into full screen is that it because it changed the dimension so much, my player health um, box here on the canvas ended up getting moved. So I'm just gonna grab all of those things here in my hierarchy and move them back down into the top corner again. And if I click on my game view, we'll see that it's back where it should be. All right, now when I test the game, you'll notice that my player name is there along with my health which are currently set to zero. Now, just as a test, I'm gonna click on my player here in the hierarchy. And let's say that my max health is 10. There we go. And let's say that I currently have nine. You'll notice that as those numbers drop or change, it constantly automatically updates in the game. Now we just need to create some things in our game that will actually affect our health by moving it up or down, but that will come in our next tutorial.